Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm super, super excited. Um, I just got back from Kohl's and I bought a ton of makeup and the Kohl's that I normally go to had a ton of stuff on sale. So I got a ton of stuff on clearance, which is awesome because makeup is like never on clearance and ignore the swatches on my hand. I swatched everything before I got home. I was just too excited, but I'm going to do a look, a tutorial with all these things, maybe, and like review them each. I got two of these. Lick kits. It's L I Q U E Lick. Um, they are the Perfect Pout Holiday kits. So these were from Holiday, but from what I saw, um, they had the same colors available uh, normally on their display. And they come in these little tins, and there was plastic in them to keep everything from rolling around. But I already took everything out, and I'll just take it all out again. And it's just like these little tins, which. I guess it could be nice. Um, the one thing I don't like already about the product is that the lip liner that it comes with actually doesn't have the color name on it, but it is on the back of the box. So this is in the shade Scandal and it is a red lip liner and I swatched it in the car like I said and you can kind of see the residue. I'll swatch it again for you um, just because you can't really see it. It is a drier formula of a lip pencil but it may end up working really, really, really well. I don't like that I can't see the color. I have that, and it also comes with the Effect uh, Glitter, and this is just, it's a red Effects. It's just called Effects. And I'm gonna use some tweezers to pull up the tab here because I don't want this exploding all over the place. Now this might be really good for some upcoming looks I have in mind. I don't know exactly um, if I'm going to use this, you know, as intended. I may end up using it on my lid, but that is what it looks like right there. It's just a, a red glitter. It's a lip topper, essentially, but it's a loose uh, lip glitter, which are lip safe. And then it comes with the, what are these called? Scandal Liquid Lip, or Liquid Lip in, in the shade Scandal. This actually has the uh color name on the bottom and they're like this uh square rectangular type shape and it is a dead red it looks kind of a pinky red on screen but it is like a true red and i swatched it and i'm absolutely obsessed with it so i have that like i said i'm gonna have to keep it in the box at least for now because there's no uh name on the packaging which is a bummer then I have this one, which is the same, it's the same product, just different color. And, ooh, can't get this one open. This one is in the shade, oh, it's the uh, nude lip version. So the lip liner is in the shade Love Affair. And it is like this square um, type. And again, the lip liner is rather dry. It's the new one right here. But... It may end up working really well. And then it also comes with the Effect uh, Glitter. This one's white. So I will take the cover off this one as well with my tweezers. I hate these little glitter covers. I know why they do it, but it's just a pain. I can't ever get them off. Ooh, glitter flying everywhere. All right. So this one's just a white. So let's see. Okay, so the white one is really gritty. The red one was not as gritty, but this one's really gritty. So I don't know if I'm going to like that on my lips or not. I may not end up using this on my lips at all. And this one, this liquid lip is in the shade Saddle. Now, this color is gorgeous. Now, I don't know which one I'll end up wearing, but definitely one of these. So I got those two things. I think it's called Lick Cosmetics. I'm not entirely sure. I've never tried anything from them before. I have four of the eyeliners from Bliss Cosmetics. I've never tried anything from Bliss Cosmetics and I'm really excited to. Uh, these are the Bliss Where's Their, Wear Their Smoke Long Wear Eyeliner. Lasts up to 12 hours. Vibrant color that lasts. I have four colors. So I actually already have the swatches on my hand so I will just pick one. After Midnight is this amazing blue and I will show it to you. It is the dark blue right here. That's it right here. And I actually really like the packaging. What I don't like about the packaging is that it doesn't tell me the color name 
on it. So again, that's another complaint I have. But it, it's gorgeous. It's a silver packaging and it ha is a wind up pencil. And so far these eyeliners are really, really creamy. And I was trying to rub it off with my hand, my finger and it did not uh, budge. And on this side there's like a little um, thing to smoke it out. I don't really ever use these. But I like the packaging. It feels really luxurious. I just don't like how the color names not actually on this. So this one is in the shade After Midnight. It's a blue. And I'm going to close it back up here. I also have the shade Fortune Teller, which is, I think, one of my favorite ones. I'm super excited to use this. It is the, if I can get it out of the box here, it is this teal one right here. It is so pretty. Again, it's the same packaging. Just wind-up pencil. I really like these so far. I haven't worn them, but so far they seem really, really nice. Really nice. I hope I like them. Because I have high expectations. All right, this one is in the shade. If I can get out of the box, this is in the shade. What? Guilty pleasure. I couldn't read it. It's the gold one right here. The gold one is my favorite one, and this is actually the one that's broken. It like flew off when I went to swatch it in the car, so I had to push it back down. But it worked. It was just broken when I bought it, which can happen between you know shipment processing and all that stuff. And then the last one I have here is in the shade Plum Lucky, and it is a like, plum purple color, like you would expect, and it's this one right here. And I got all the colored ones. There was a black, but I have all the eyeliner I have right now is black, so I got some colors so I could do some different um, eye looks for you guys. I also got, oops, the um, Bliss Please Don't Go eyeshadow primer. It is an eyeshadow primer stick, and... I feel about a eyeshadow primer stick and as long as it works it's fine but it doesn't it says what it is on the bottom so that's nice it is like a it's it comes with a ton of product but on my fair skin tone it may be uh, too dark to use as an eyeshadow primer I'm gonna try it out and see what I think about it if it's too dark I'll end up giving it to my mom or something but it may just not work for my skin tone. I also got the Bliss uh, Light the Glow Illuminating Gradient Powder Blush. It tells me, it, ooh, it covered, the sticker is covering the description of like all these products. So that's a bust. And I, I'm not a huge fan of the packaging. It's just this long rectangular packaging, but I mean, it is doable. It's just really long and it doesn't really clip shut. Okay. Well, this is in the shade Bellini Sunset. First off, the ombre is gorgeous. And I did swatch it. It's blended out right here. And it is really pretty. I just don't know how I feel about the uh, long rectangular packaging. It could end up being amazing. Never know. I also have the Bliss Go For The Bronze Powder Bronzer. This is actually the only uh, bronzer they had in the entire store. And it is in the shade Kiss Me Caramel. And I actually, so far, like this. Like I said, I've just swatched it. And I will put, oh my god, the start time of the video. But it is down here, blended out. So far, it is really glittery. So if you don't like glittery bronzers, you won't like this at all. But hopefully, it looks okay. I've never used like a true glitter uh, bronzer before. I've only used like shimmer. And then the last thing from Bliss Cosmetics is the Center of Attention Balancing Foundation Stick. This is in the shade Shell. And it matches really well. I matched uh, myself in the store. I've never used a stick foundation before, so we're going to try that out. Three more products, and then we will go ahead and get started with the video. But I want to show you everything I got. This is the Pure Cosmetics Dual Ended Eyeliner. It's called the Double Ego Eyeliner in the shade Madagascar. Now, when I swatched this in the car, I was very disappointed with the liquid side because it was like super dry. Like, super dry. It is like a green, an army green color. So I may not end up using the uh, liquid side, but the eyeliner pencil side is this dark green right here at the top. It's really pretty. But like I said, the uh, liquid was kind of dry, which kind of sucked, but oh well. <laughs> this is the Pure Cosmetics On Point Lip Liner. 
in the shade low key and it has the same packaging as my favorite eyeliner which is the uh, Smashbox Always Sharp eyeliner. You twist it and it sharpens so that is um, amazing, super cool and that is the lip liner swatched right there. It honestly is a gorgeous lip liner and I swatched it, it's so creamy, like it really just it felt like butter, it was incredible. I loved swatching it and the very last thing I have here is what I intentionally went into the store for but then I discovered there was someone clearance. This is the Pure Bare All 12 Hour 4 in 1 Skin Perfecting Foundation. And it looks like this. I got mine in the shade Porcelain. And I hope, I hope I end up liking this. I really, really do. That is all the products I got. I just wanted to show you guys what I got. That way, um, if I use it in future videos, you know. I know we are 12 minutes in, but um, I'm sorry about that. Uh... So subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and we're going to go ahead and get started in this look because I am super excited to use these products. I am going to use the pure one in a later video. Stay tuned for that. But I'm going to use the Bliss Center of Attention Balancing Foundation Stick. First I'm going to take the Lubiderm Daily Moisturizer and moisturize my skin because my skin is, I have dry skin in case you didn't know and I want to give this foundation a fair shot. Although the girl inside the store didn't seem keen that I'd like it. But sometimes, you know, people have other opinions of products. So we're going to, you know, have our open mind here. Hopefully I do like it because I'm really excited to try a foundation by Bliss. I'm gonna use the Bliss foundation stick in the shade in the shade Shell. We need a little bit more up. Woo. <laughs> it's like... I don't like the smell of this at all. Okay, this foundation, so far, I, I'm a big fan. Alright, yeah. This foundation, so far, I really like it. It looks great on my skin. But I am going to layer just a tiny bit more. Just to see if I can layer it. Yeah, it's super creamy. When I first used it, it was a little stiff, but now that I think I've gotten like the top layer off and it's like open, you know, warmed up, I think it's a lot creamier now. And that is nice. Definitely not, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's definitely not completely full coverage, but I would say it's definitely medium to full. It seems to match me pretty good. I'm looking in a viewfinder or the my phone and it's looking uh, pretty pretty good um it's not clinging to my nose it's not clinging to uh, my forehead lines it does show off texture like you can see my texture right here but that's not a huge thing for me and a lot of my foundations do that so yeah so far I like this foundation it's nice I'm gonna put the little uh safety thing back on the top but yeah, so far I like this. It's sitting comfortably on my skin. It doesn't feel uh, tacky. It is a dimming matte finish uh, according to the box. I would probably agree with that. It's definitely not completely dewy, but it's definitely not matte. So I would say it's a dewy, uh, dimming matte, satin matte type finish. Um, not sticky at all. It doesn't seem to be doing anything weird. Maybe it is right here just a little bit, but that's a pretty deep um, smile line. So a lot of foundation settle there. So far I really like, I really like the Bliss foundation. I think it's, it's nice. I really like it. I'm going to use the Bliss Go For The Bronze uh, Powder Bronzer. It says lightweight powder for radiant glow, blends and builds easily long wearing and streak free. So we will definitely try that out. I don't know why I put everything back in the box. I just did. All right, it has a mirrored, um, lid it's super hard to open though and it says hey sunshine on the mirror inside and it looks like this if you can see there is a uh, glitter in there so i'm gonna take my bronzing brush and just tap it who it's pigmented let's just oh oh that's pigmented oh girl 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 oh no <laughs> okay so you really do need a really really light hand with this bronzer Okay, I think if you don't like glitter on your face, you will not like this at all because there are definitely pieces of glitter 
sitting on my skin. I can definitely see the glitter. I was kind of hoping they would be, like, let's see if I can tap them off. They would be, like, you know, blended into the powder itself. So when you blended it out, you couldn't really see the glitter on your skin. From a distance, I can't see it on the screen. I can't see it in my mirror, which is right here in front of me. But from this smear, I definitely can. So when you're up close, the glitters are noticeable. So there is that little factor there. I think if you don't like glitter at all, you won't like this. This is what the packaging looks like. It's in the shade Bellini Sunset. It looks like this. So I'm just gonna like swipe, tap off the extra and see what it looks like. Oh, the powder blush really pigment that you don't need to um, go in more than once. I will take a powder brush and just blend it all in because that blush is really pigmented. I like the blush too. It looks really nice on my skin. I think the foundation is starting to settle a little bit in the fine lines behind my mouth. But that's okay. Uh, I do like the blush. It looks really nice. The foundation. I don't know what this streak is right here. I see it on my face too. Um, yeah, I think it's a nice blush. It, it kind of reminds me of uh, NARS's Orgasm. Just a lot more pigmented. And not as um, blendable. I guess it is blendable. But the NARS blushes are super blendable. You would know. Like if you've tried one, you know that. But yeah. I'm going to use the Bliss Please Don't Go eyeshadow primer. This blend out the foundation that's creasing and just draw on our lids. I'm not a huge fan of using crayons on my lids. I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. I usually use a brush to do this but I think it would be uh, better to blend it out with my finger just because it is like a stick. It is darker than my uh, skin but I think I might be able to make it work. I'm not taking it all the way up to the brow bone because I think it might just be too dark. I think it could definitely work. I think I might prefer my other ones better, but so far it's not the worst I should probably try. I'm going to try the Pure Double Ego uh, eyeliner in the shade Madagascar. We're going to try to use the lip. Okay, this is not working. Look at look at this. That's a bust. <laughs> I guess we'll just try the pinch aside in a later video. Try the Where's the Smoke eyeliner by Bliss in the shade. If I can get it out here, Fortune Teller, which is this gorgeous green shade. We're gonna line. Put this in our water line. Okay, so I really like this eyeliner. My eyes are watering because I just lined them, but um, it's nice. It gives a pop to my blue eyes. So far, I really like it. I really like it. I really like this eyeliner so far. And I'm actually gonna put it right here with my other eyeliners. I got some eye uh, mascara on my cheek, but I don't wanna do it, move it right now because it is still wet. I'm gonna try. This Lick Cosmetics Perfect Pout Holiday Kit. So I'm first going to take the uh, Love Affair Lip Pencil and line my lips. I don't know how I feel about this. So it's not as dry when I actually put it on my lips. I like the lip liner. This is the Saddle Matte Lip Paint. Alright, so I like the liquid lipstick. I would like it a lot better if the box wasn't so flippin' difficult, <laughs> but, um, I will make do. So, this is, this is it for this video. So far, I like everything. I'm a little iffy on the eyeshadow primer itself, and I shall try, you know, everything else in later videos, or I'll try them and tell you guys on Snapchat what I think of them, but so far, I like everything that I bought. The lipstick is already drying, which is nice, and I will see you guys in my next video. 